Hey everybody, I'm out here with the uh, Tello and the Xiaomi Mi 2 drone and we're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison of the two. So we got a lot of categories to cover so we're gonna jump right into it. Hey, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate you. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some side-by-side -side comparisons and then we're gonna get outside, put the drones in the air and do our field test comparison. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first off, let's kind of look at the build quality of each. So um, they both kind of have a similar sort of form factor or footprint. Uh, so as you can see with the prop guards, um, they're pretty much the same size. Now, one of the best things about both of these is their hover stability. It is amazing, and you're gonna see that uh, in a little bit. Uh, but first off, let's take a look at the sensor. You have one bottom-facing sensor here. It's an optical flow sensor on the Mi 2. Now, the Mi 2 also has some infrared sensors. There's one here and I believe there's one in the rear as well. That's for doing uh, battles. So if you have uh, two or more Me Too's, you, um, you can shoot at each other using the uh, app and score points and so forth. Uh, so that's not something the Tello has, but the Tello has three downward facing sensors here and the stability of this thing is unmatched. I haven't seen a uh, I guess I can call this a toy grade quadcopter. Haven't seen another um, with the same stability that this has. And you'll see that. Now, uh, let me just say that I've also already done a full review of each of these drones. I've actually done several videos on the Tello. I have one um, thorough review of the Me 2 as well. So I'll put cards up, links in the description so you can check those out. All right, in terms of weight, uh, the Tello weighs in at 89 grams and the Mi 2 at 96 grams. Both film at 720p at 30 frames per second. Now the Tello is gonna take five megapixel uh, photos. Really, really good, um, really, really good photos. Uh, you'll see that as well. And then the Mi 2 takes two megapixel uh, photos. And the Tello has electronic image stabilization while the Mi 2 does not. The Mi 2 has four gigabytes of onboard storage. The Tello does not have that. Uh, neither takes an SD card. Um, and due to that, I think the Tello, um, it's one of the reasons why the Tello really struggles with its video. The video is very choppy. Um, that's not something you'll get uh, from the Mi 2. Uh, but uh, again, we'll compare the quality and you'll get to see that uh, in a little bit. Now you have the ability to, to limit the height for each of these. For the Mi 2, it's up to 25 meters. Uh, so that's actually the high, highest it will go and you can set that lower if you want. And the Tello can be set up to 99 feet. The Tello is being controlled by a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency and the Mi 2 is on 5.8 gigahertz. Both can be launched from your hand so you can do palm launches, so it's auto takeoff and also auto land uh, into your hand, so they both can do that. Now the Tello doesn't have headless mode, but the Mi 2 does. Now with the Mi 2, when the battery is getting low, you will actually get an audible uh, warning. So it'll tell you that the battery is low and that you need to land. Uh, the Tello doesn't have that, but it does give you a pretty good indication on screen in the app uh, when the battery is low. Both drones are controlled by your smartphone. They don't come with controllers, but both can be paired with a compatible Bluetooth controller. And I actually did a video on the Tello uh, showing you a uh, Bluetooth controller paired with uh, the drone. Okay, let's take a look at the batteries here. So the battery for the Mi 2 is right here. Circle here, if I can pull it out. I always have trouble pulling it out. There's a 
button here that you push and then you just pull it on out of there. And this is a 920 milliamp hour battery and I've been getting about eight minutes of flight time out of it, okay? And it just goes right in the top there. Now as far as the Tello goes, here is the battery for the Tello and the Tello is taking a, it's actually an 1100 milliamp hour battery. Um, and I have been getting about 10 minutes of flight time out of that. Both have altitude hold, of course. Both can do flips. Both, you can do hand launch with both of these. So with the Tello, it's called uh, toss and go, I believe. And with the Me Too, it's just a, a hand launch, but it's essentially the same thing. Now, the Tello has a few more automated features that the Me Too doesn't have. It has like an orbit, a 360 mode, uh, and I'll show you that later, but uh, the Tello has a few more of those. And finally, the price difference. So the Tello is coming in at about $100, and the Me Too you can find at about $65 on up to $70. I've seen it uh, within that range there. All right, that's it. Let's get outside and get these two drones in the air and see how they match up. Okay, we're starting with the Tello and the first thing we're going to test is hover stability. All right, let's go ahead and get it in the air and get started. <laughs> oh, if you've seen my reviews, you know I really like the Tello. I'm gonna take it up to about there and I don't expect this thing to move really at all. <laughs> it actually stays put better than some GPS drones, believe it or not. And as you can see, that's exactly what it's doing. We do have a light wind. I don't know if you notice the trees behind it. Uh, you see the uh, leaves rustling. So there definitely is some wind. And as you can see, the tello is staying put. Ah, this never gets old. All right. Okay, it's the Xiaomi Mi 2's turn. So we're gonna just launch. And do our hover test. It kind of flew over there to the right a little bit. I'm going to bring it back, take it up to about there, and let's check this one out. And I have to tell you, the technology in these two little toy gray drones is super impressive. Those downward facing sensors are pretty impressive. Now you can see this one is moving about just a little bit more than the Tello, but as you can see, it's holding its position as if it has GPS, and it does not. Some of my GPS uh, drones do not hold their position as well. All right, looks like that one's gonna be a tie. Okay, the next thing we're gonna test is range. And what I'm looking for here is when does the video cut out? Okay, so I'm going to start the video. We're also going to uh, use this to compare the uh, video. All right, let's take off. There's the Tello. And we'll take it up a little more just so it's not looking at the ground completely. And I'm just going to fly it out. And I'm looking for when the video feed is going to start to cut out and it's already doing so right there okay that's not very far for the tello okay cutting out right about there and it's back and going over the fence Cutting out again. Okay. And I think that's about it. Okay, next we're gonna check range. I'm gonna start the video camera. Let's go ahead and get in the air. And I'm gonna have to move quickly because it looks like from the app, I thought I charged it all the way, but it looks like we're already uh, experiencing low battery. So let's get flying. We're looking for when the video feed cuts out. 
and as you can see we are already doing better than the Tello and I better be careful with this one it actually flies a little bit faster than the Tello does and as you can see range with the Me Too uh, is much better than the Tello Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to kind of compare flight performance. So I'm going to put the uh, Tello in its fast uh, setting. Let's take it up and we're going to just fly it around and see how it performs. And both drones in their stock configuration are going to be flown with your cell phone. And personally, I prefer physical sticks, but if you're going to have a drone that flies with your phone, it's always best to have virtual sticks that will appear wherever you place your, your thumbs. And that's what the Tello app does. And I'd say that performs really, really well, just as a nice flying drone. So not just a selfie drone. We're gonna launch. And let's fly it around. And this must be on the low setting, so let me... Okay, now we are in the high setting, so that matches the fast setting with the Tello. Seems like it's about the same speed. And this one flies really well as well. Now it's not holding its height, its altitude as well as the Tello was, but it, it's doing much better than uh, most altitude hold quads do, uh, especially those that don't have a downward facing sensor. Look at that. So I'd say flight performance is comparable. You know, it's kind of a wash there. Here you can see, you can do flips, 
You can do up and away, which is kind of a little uh, mini droney. Um, and you can do uh, orbits or circle 360. Uh, you can do hand launches. And it has this bounce mode, which nobody can ever seem to figure out what it's for. Uh, but the, uh, the Me Too can't do any of this. So, um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, y'all. So here's how everything shakes out. Both drones are great for selfies because they hover in one spot and don't waver much at all, allowing you to set up your shot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Video quality goes to the Me Too, not because it's great, but because the Tello drops too many frames and it'll drive you nuts. I did a video on how to improve this, so check the card above if you're interested. Photos goes to the Tello. I mean, come on, it's not even close. Both are built about the same, and with any plastic drone, you can definitely break it. But they both feel well made. Range, in terms of the video feed, goes to the Me Too. The Tello can really struggle, but with a Wi-Fi repeater, you can remedy this problem. Again, check the card above for a video I did showing you how to remedy this. On the other hand, control range of both drones is comparable. The Tello has more features, but both apps are intuitive and get the job done. Flight time goes to the Tello, and both of these little drones can be kicked up to their high rate and zipped around pretty good. The Me Too is a little faster, but the Tello holds its own. You do have to be used to flying with your phone though. Now, the Tello does have a feature where you can program it to do different things. I'm sure it's cool, but I've never found an interest in it. And finally, price. The Me Too is about $30 less than the Tello. So here's the final tally. Both drones garner a score of 7. Now, this would suggest that these two drones are equal, but that really isn't the case. The score indicates how well they compare, but it's hard to quantify fun factor and overall experience, and for that, the Tello wins, hands down. Once you overcome the troubled video and pair that with the nice photos it takes and the incredible stability, it's hard to beat. If you don't want to spend $100, the Me Too is a great option with many of the same features. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the bell or else you may never know when I upload new videos. Until we meet again, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later.